Hi, I am Sean Shen, a technical marketing engineer of Tencent, Mentor, a Siemens business. This video describes an RTL-based to hierarchical DFT and the ATPG flow we put together with ARM. I will describe a test case in the available application node, which can be found on our website. It describes the insertion and the ATPG of Tencent DFT on an ARM subsystem design from RTL level. This methodology can be applied to any ARM subsystem designs with the Cortex cores. Without true hierarchical DFT, both the coverage and the runtime for any large design can delay design cycle significantly. The subsystem in this flow, which contains multiple Cortex A75, is a decent sized design. The schematic on the screen shows the abstract view of the subsystem design. There are four Cortex A75 cores inside the cluster. We segment Cortex core level as our hierarchical boundary to divide the design into two parts called core level and the top level. Then we can test them separately. We use such a design to show that Tencent DFT offers a high efficiency plug and play infrastructure to achieve the best test quality. Any designer who uses ARM's Cortex design can reap the benefit of Tencent hierarchical DFT flow, including complete DFT solution, automatic pattern retargeting, up to 10 times faster ADPG runtime, plug and play industry standard IGTech network, automation that taking advantage of Tencent products running in the same tools, providing setup information between products. The next figure shows Tencent test instruments, memory building self-test, boundary scan test access port controller, test compressor logic, on-chip clock controller, and the test access mechanism, which are marked in green. In reality, a bottom-up flow could benefit from hierarchical ADPG the most, which is also how we implemented on this design, since we can work on the modules independently before the higher level design. This flow chart shows bottom-up flow steps all the way from core level to the chip level. Each level is a typical Tencent two-path DFT flow. Scan insertions are all done by Tencent Scan Pro, which can understand all of our instruments and perform smart scan insertion to achieve best isolation and the best test coverage. Synthesis can be done using any synthesis tool. Here, we use the mentor's voices. Please note that the synthesis and the scan can be done together. At core level, we inserted the memory-based test compress logic and the on-chip clock controllers. After scan insertion, a test wheel of core level called Gearbox is generated. This Gearbox view and the retargetable ADPG patterns were stored in our Tencent database and will be automatically passed to the next level. On the top level, boundary scan logic, memory-based, test compress logic, and the OCCs were also inserted. Then we perform top-level ADPG and the core-level ADPG pattern retargeting to get the whole chip's test coverage. Please also note that Tencent never needs a full netlist for hierarchical DFT. However, it automatically tracks top-level faults and the core-level faults that need to be targeted with top-level ADPG. So there will be no fault site missed. This schematic shows core level with DFT inserted again. Our memory based can work with ARM's shared bus memory cluster. And our test compressor logic could not just work with our OCC, but also third-party OCCs. Every instruments are hooked up to our Agitech network. These state-of-art instruments are easily defined using DFT specification in our automatic DFT insertion flow. The following schematic shows complete top view after DFT insertion. Everything we inserted is also hooked up to Agitech network and accessible through 5-pin JTAG interface. 
one of the key feature here is our test access mechanism. This is a very flexible solution to address I.O. sharing between different scan modes, including core-level modes accessing top-level pins. Here I'm sharing top-level ADBG mode with two groups of child cores ADBG channels. I can configure top-level test channels to either connect to top-level test compressor logic or to connect to core 0 and core 1 or core 2 and core 3. The scan configuration is shown here. At the core level, we have 910 scan chains, with the longest chain having 259 cells. Among these scan chains, 11 are wrapper chains to make the gray box view. Only 22 dedicated wrapper cells were needed for our true hierarchical DFT flow, in this case, which is really, really tiny overhead. At the top level, we have 788 scan chains with the same longest chain length of 259 cells. Here shows the coverage data I'm able to get using such flow for both stackhead and the transition ADBG. We achieved 99.4% stackhead coverage and 97.76% transition coverage for the entire chip. And if we add a 10 cent warsaw point, at a number of equal to only 2% of scan cells to the DFT, about 2x pattern reduction can be achieved. There are many challenges when facing bigger and bigger designs. As the industry leader, we are always here to help you with our unique true hierarchical DFT to solve them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.